As stated earlier, the Bryce Report was definitely used for propaganda purposes, especially meant for the United States. But did it work? Since the Bryce Report was translated into about 30 languages, Britain used the report to show the world that Britain was acting honorably in defending Belgium against the barbarianism of the Germans. Lord Bryce had written the introduction to, as well as published, the Bryce Report. His involvement with the Bryce Report made its impact greater, especially in the United States. The report had made a significant impact on the U.S. because Bryce, from 1907 to 1913, had served as British ambassador in Washington, where he became a popular, even beloved figure. The Bryce Report was released on May 12, 1915. British propaganda headquarters in Wellington House near Buckingham Palace made sure it went to virtually every newspaper in America. The impact was stupendous, as the headline and subheads in the New York Times make clear. The report had a great effect in estranging American opinion from Germany during World War I. Its impact in America was also heightened by the fact that it was published soon after the sinking of the Lusitania, a sensitive time for Americans. It convinced millions of Americans and other neutrals that the Germans were beasts in human form. Some Americans had so far been a little distrustful of British and French stories of German atrocities. German treatment of the Belgians was brutal enough, but it was said that after reading the appendix to the Bryce Report, people like them were ready to believe practically anything. The unstable parts of the report, for example, the lack of names of the witnesses, made small impression at the time. The columns of American newspapers were filled for weeks with accounts of the hideous brutalities of the German troops. For the British, it was a propaganda victory. On May 27, 1915, Wellington House operatives in America reported to London even in papers hostile to the Allies, there is not the slightest attempt to impugn the correctness of the facts alleged. Lloyd Bryce's prestige in America put skepticism out of the question. Charles Masterman, the head of Wellington House, told Bryce, The report has swept America. It was believed that Americans thought very highly of him. Whatever he put his name to must be true. In response to the Bryce Report, Germany published its own atrocity counter-propaganda in the form of the White Book, which detailed atrocities committed by Belgian civilians against German soldiers. However, its impact was limited outside of a few German-language publications, so it did not get very far into the minds of Americans. Also, when the Bryce Report came out, it might have been making front page headlines in major newspapers. However, years after the war, the Bryce Report was found incredible and considered another British attempt to bring the United States into World War I. Many faults were found after the war in the Bryce Report. In fact, a Belgian commission of inquiry in 1922 said it would be unable to establish even one major allegation in the Bryce Report. Not a single witness was identified by name. Among the few critics of the Bryce Report was Sir Roger Casement. He said, It is only necessary to turn to James Bryce, the historian, to convict Lord Bryce, the partisan. Few people paid any attention to his dissent, which was dismissed as biased. Clarence Darrow was another skeptic. He went to France later in 1915 and searched for a single eyewitness who could confirm one of the Bryce stories, but no proof was found. There were several people who said the proof was destroyed, or when a hint of proof did show up, it could never really be proven true. Overall, the Bryce Report contributed to America joining World War I because, at the time it was published, most Americans believed what was said, especially because most of the faults in the report were not truly proven until after the war. Bryce and his committee had managed to prove to America that the Germans were being monster-like and cruel in their conduct during the war, thus changing their minds about being slightly sympathetic to Germans and making the American people 
want to help those in need, which in this case was France, Britain, and Belgium. The Bryce Report might not have drastically caused America to want to go to war, but it definitely increased their opinion of the idea.